And then we've got an industry that has done wonderful things in, in the 60 odd years that it's been around. But which is being asked to do hugely important things now and much more important things in the future based on a set of people and a set of processes and, and a set of, of a, a sort of professional infrastructure that is far too weak to carry that load. If you look at in any other engineering discipline, you'll find that the, the standards, the, the principles, are, can be traced back to major accidents that have occurred. You know, nobody will ever build a, a, a bridge like the Tacoma Narrows Bridge again. Nobody will ever build a footbridge like, like the Wobbly Millennium Bridge because the models have been changed now. And so a competent engineer will just use the models that have been updated and we'll see that it won't have the properties that they want if they build it that way, so they won't do it. We've made a lot of mistakes in the software industry. Lots of systems have gone wrong. People have been killed. Billions of pounds have been lost as a result of software failures. And yet you can't point to a single mistake that has been made and show evidence that that is something that nobody will ever do again, or even that no competent person, properly trained, will ever do again. Because we don't have the mechanisms to do that yet. <laughs>